Hi everybody, and today I'm going to be <clears throat> showing you guys how to fix Firefox um, GTK themes that <clears throat> don't work and stuff and you want your theme to work in Firefox also and I'm doing this all straightforward haven't looked anything up or nothing so if something goes wrong um something's gonna go wrong so let's get started here so first thing we're gonna do is <clears throat> You can see that it's not using the GTK theme by <clears throat> it's using the default theme from Manjaro so here's what we're going to do first we're going to <clears throat> try to reinstall Firefox so open up <clears throat> Whatever package manager you're using, whether it be Synaptic, Pamac, um, or anything else, and Terminal, if you want to use commands. So let's just type in Firefox and. I spelled it wrong. Sorry, guys. So here we go, Firefox right here, 4.49, so here we go, let's go to remove, apply, and type in your root password. And it's uninstalled. Now let's try and reinstall it to see if we get the GTK themes working. As you can see, this is a custom theme I made off of. <coughs> Another theme I tweaked. So let's just hit apply. And we're installed again, so let's go to Okay, it's still not using the GTK theme, which I figured so after you <clears throat> Try that doesn't work so let's head over to Firefox the official Firefox page let's go to click here want to a fresh copy now <clears throat> this is where you want to choose the Linux so download for Linux now you now right here you want to choose what your computer um, what you're running 32 bit or 64 bit whatever <coughs> your um, computer is running um, if you have higher RAM over 4 gigabytes, you want to choose 64 bit. <clears throat> that should be your computer specs. If you're under 4 gigabytes, you want to choose 32 bit, which is this one right here. So I am running 64 bit, 
and what you want to do is go down and choose your language and it has the languages right here so come down here and where is English English right here so I guess it automatically detects your language if you're <clears throat> do a region if you're on a different language I guess it'll automatically choose so it's highlighted in green so that's a good thing so now what you want to do is come and choose what your computer specs. I have 64 so we are going to download it. We want to hit the save file button and in Firefox it stores in your downloads folder. <clears throat> if you don't have a downloads folder it should be created by itself. Um, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure Firefox will create you a downloads folder. So, next thing what we want to do is, it's completed. 4.9, that's what we had in the package manager, so that's the latest version. Then we want to go... We want to quit Firefox and then we want to go open up the file manager and we want to find where the Firefox location is so I'm pretty sure it's in the root directory so what we want to do is open up user share We want to go down to Firefox. Let's see if I remember correctly where the file is. Firefox, let's see here. Search Firefox. Okay, where was that? Firefox, it was here. So, file, hmm, huh. 
how come I didn't see this? Hmm. I'm just trying to find out the location because it's not showing up. Oddly weird. I'm not blind, am I? Let me see where it is again. Firefox. When it shows up in here, where's this location? Okay, that's not it. Um, these are chrome themes. Okay, I see now. That's not what we wanted. We wanted the location of Firefox. Okay, so let's open up a new window because I'm obviously not getting that directory. to remember where this okay maybe it's in here here we go you want to go to here okay it's in right here Mozilla let me just make sure it's not in the root directory <coughs> if I remember correctly it's not so um um, let me see. Okay, so it's not in the root directory, so that's a good sign, because <clears throat> better if it's not in the root. So this is where you want to go to put your Firefox. So just open this, and you will see... Here's where all your stuff is, so... And then extensions. So this is what you want to do now. Go to the downloads folder. Firefox. Okay, so now what we want to do is open What we want to do is we want to, I believe, is we want to move this one to the trash. And we want to empty. Then we want to add that one there. 
want to do is open up Firefox and now we have our GTK theme and we don't want to import anything from Chrome because a lot of extensions you use for Chrome isn't capable with Firefox most of them at least so we want to hit next and then here we go we got our GTK theme imported so there we go it's as simple as that so what we want to do now is add back our in extensions so if you have any extensions you have to add back here's the place to do that I only had one I usually use more for Oh, it wasn't add block, it was add guard, so. Uh, add guard, did I spell it wrong? Add guard, yeah, no. Is that it? Okay, I guess that's it. So let's install it. back and we have it on here so we have it did look different though let's open up Firefox again to make sure everything is installed okay here we go now what we have it so everything is good you can use your browser now with your GTK theme and everything so this is my custom made theme and I will see you guys later if Please um, leave comments and likes and please subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel. If you guys have any questions or if you guys have another way of doing this to get your GTK Firefox themes working, please leave it in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.